Hey guys, this is Amy, aka Funky Mama 0703, and welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you showed back up. We are doing something yet again that's a little different. Um, today we are doing a, this is going to be an OMG challenge, basically. OMG is a spot online where you can do, where you answer stupid questions and they give you a stupid results. Um, I'd like to run through several of them just to see what type of results we get. Um, you know, we'll answer as truthfully as we can just to be a little silly and see where we go with it. Um, you can get some really weird results. And I'd like to see where we're going with it. Um, if you haven't tried out OMG, it's one of those that once you get in, they don't let you back out again. So I've got it stuck. I might as well use it while I can. So we are going to head into OMG. All right, next four years you will. Let's see. All right, next four years, plan for the future, they said. Let's see. The next four years, you will have, and, you know, I don't like that it kind of cuts it off here. No, I don't want, I don't want, well, okay. So it kind of gives me a better idea of what we got there. It's um, have a new love in 2022. In 2023, I'll have a baby. Oh, good God, No. Uh, be engaged, um, kind of putting the cart before the horse there, I think, um, in 2024, and have the wedding of my dreams in 2025. Holy shnikey, did I put that baby in there a little too early. Um, oof, that's kind of scary. Not that that's wrong, because I did that. I mean, I, I didn't do that. I didn't get married, but I had the two kids without, so... Yeah, I don't know. That just, um, if I'm going to have the love of my life, why not stay in there? All right. What animal looks like your face? I'm going to have to get a picture up. A gorilla? Yep, there we are. My coffee face looks like a gorilla. Okay, I feel it. All right, next one. What will you look like as a wife? Well, a Kardashian I surely will not look like. They have lots of little quizzes, others that they want to put in. <laughs> Is that Emma Roberts? Okay. I, I love the um, glassy eyes. I wonder what that's stating. Hmm? Okay. I look like Emma Stone as... A Stepford wife? Uh, no. All right, if I was a cat, what would I look like? I would, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's me. That's me, totally. Under a blankie, all just enjoying it. That, that's me and my cocoon. I've got a blanket that um, I bought a couple years ago. First year that I worked at my new job, or my job, and I had picked up, well, uh, second year, I think. Picked up a really, really good Sherpa quilted blanket. Um, it's just a, you know, queen size, fantastic for the bed. I've, I've never been able to actually use it on the bed because it's too hot, but I use it um, all the time. It's my it's my cocoon, I call it. It's a beige colored, uh, natural, very soft, very nice. And my kids knew not to mess around with it. That's all I know. All right, let's go. Just because I'm not going to share on my Facebook page, because I really don't think that my Facebook page needs to know all this crap uh, stuff. All right. And, of course, they've got all these other stuff they're trying to get money off from. So my four moods. There's me cuddling into Ayala. Okay. I can see that. I watched an episode of hers yesterday. A couple episodes. And I'm really impressed by the woman's um, empathy. She's really able to feel for her... Go, uh, guests and it's it's amazing watching her show. I like it. I, I would sit and watch more. Um, eating, binge eating. Yeah, I could see doing that. Uh, <laughs> that's my um, resting bee face. And then, yeah, I can feel it. All my tu uh, Tupperware falling out. Yep, that sounds like it would be me. That's I can see that. I can see that. Totally feel it. All right. Read the summary of your life. Oh, this is going to be interesting. 
Read the summary of your life. Amy, you are the best friend anyone could ever ask for. Although you are supportive of your loved ones and will do anything for them, you aren't afraid to tell them when they're wrong. You can also keep a secret and are always willing to make others smile. Well, anyone who works with me, anyone who knows me personally knows that to be extremely true. Um, although keeping the secret is not always easy for me, I usually stumble. Um, there are some times where it's like I like the fact that I know something and I tend to um, stumble. I do tend to want to say something. Um, and as for telling people or being afraid to tell them when they're wrong, I am actually highly afraid to tell people when they're wrong. I don't like when people are angry with me or are frustrated or don't like what I'm saying. So I tend to um, try not to say the truth. So I that, that one is not really on. I do like the fact that I am a, one of the best friends that I, people can ask for because I'm willing to do almost anything to help out, um, hop on, do whatever I can. So yeah, I, I can see that part, but yeah, it, I'll, it depends on the relationship I have with a person, whether I'm going to be willing to tell them what it is. All right. Who is your my celebrity look like? Who looks like my coffee cup? Let's see. I'm not sure who that is. I feel really bad. Oh, um, Amelia Clark. Okay, I, sh I should have squirreled down before I said that. Love Amelia Clark in Game of Thrones. I've seen her in a number of other things. Um, she's gorgeous. Uh, I liked her in the solo movie. She was like the one of the few highlights in the um, star in the solo movie. It was she was she, she was amazing. I'd like to see more things based on her in the Star Wars genre because she her character is really really an interesting um, where she came from and how she grew and how she became who she is. So I would really like to to see more about her. Um, Amelia Clark is a fantastic actress, and I don't know that I look anything like her. My coffee cup looks like her, I guess, according to OMG, but it's cool. I like that. All right. Um, if you were a doll, what doll would you look like? Hmm. All right, let's get rid of those car theme jokes again. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. That's me as a doll. Well, the hair looks a lot like me. I don't like the placement of her dress. Um, she looks kind of like Ursula, but not. So, you know, Ursula from um, The Little Mermaid. Yeah, no. I, I'm not feeling it, and I'm kind of insulted that they would even think that. All right. Well, I'm not going to do the celebrity lookalike because we did that already. Um... Which dog breed goes with your personality? I always love to see these things. Pond running. Yeah. You are perky and friendly. Okay, I see that. You are, you don't fear anyone. Not true. I am a huge coward. Um, you are smart and always alert. Well, smart, if I have to say so myself. Very humble as well. No, um... I have an intelligence, not always where it needs to be, but I have a certain intelligence. And as for alert, I think I am more alert than most people, so that can be. Um, and I can be a little aggressive. Um, passive aggressive, if that if that goes for it, I can totally be passive aggressive. That's usually the way I do my stuff. Aggressive, no. Um, not unless I know you really well or I'm putting on a facade at work. If you were a dog, what would you look like? We're staying on the pup theme. <laughs> Is that Nakira? <laughs> Poor dog. Well, that surprise look gets me, that's for sure. That's me. I can see it. All right. What color matches your personality? Well, I did see green. You are too mischievous for your own good. Um, it could be. And you enjoy pulling pranks on your friends and loved ones. Well, I like doing it. I just don't usually do it. 
You're never seen without a sig your signature smile. I hope so. I love the smile. Um, and I, 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 my belief, and I, I wanted to do a video on that, and I still might, um, is that a smile is one of the best things you can give a person, whether they are feeling down, whether they're feeling happy already, or whatever you can do. A smile is a gift that is free, and it makes a lot of people feel good, as long as you're not smiling when they're really, really ticked, because I noticed that also gets you in a lot of trouble. Uh, I work customer service, so yeah, not always good. All right, let's see this one. What is your hottest asset? My arms. I don't know because I've got my bingo wings and I'm not really super happy with that, but that's after losing 100 plus pounds. Um, got my bingo wings, so I'm not sure I'm really happy with those, although they're, they're not as bad as they had been. I, I wish my skin didn't have all those, um, I, I wish my skin didn't have, have the freckles that they have. I, I spend, I burn really super easy and with the fair complexion, I go outside and I get just decimated. All right, let's see what else we have to do. It's a great way of getting to know a person a little better too. All right. Are you a giver or are you a taker? Um, from what I see already, oh, okay, 70% a giver, 30% a ticker, taker, not a ticker. Your first instinct is to always help others, but you are, or you've got to remember to look out for yourself as well. I think that is my greatest trait and also my worst, um, my downfall is I tend to, I try too hard to have people like me. And in that case, I give an awful lot, um, and I don't usually realize that I'm giving away something that I don't want to give away. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not one for taking care of myself. I'm more concerned about taking care of everybody else. And I think that's part of my mother. Um, I'm a cancer. So I tend to want to take care of other people and mother them. And, and that's part of, I think, what my um, zodiac says about me, and I—that's I, one place where I think I really go into it is the fact that yeah, I'm—I'm I'm, I'm always trying to make people happy. I'm—I'm I'm afraid if people don't like me, and it really bothers me when somebody is not um, doesn't like me, even though I can't control what they think. And it, I've come to a realization. I've struggled with that, and I've tried really, really hard not to let that bother me. But there is still a point where it's like, I'll sit back and think, okay, why don't they like me? What am I doing wrong? And sometimes it's them and not me. And I, I, I've got that realization. I had to go through therapy for it. And I think, I think I'm beating it. COVID's taking a kick on me, but I think I'm doing pretty good. All right, let's see here. What next? All right. What story, what's the story behind your smile? All right, we're not going to worry about the Spring Theater Classics. And we'll have to share this so that we can go down. What is the story behind your smile? Your smile is a smile of understanding. It is sweet and warm, one that feels like a comforting hug. It's sometimes in times of sadness. You are patient and always ready to listen and always happy to be a shoulder to cry on which is completely true because I want to be that person that people can go to. And people don't always come to me, and that bothers me because I put myself out there and I always say I'm willing to be, you know, the shoulder for you, and people don't take that. And I don't know if that's, I mean, I, I don't know why, and maybe it's that they don't feel comfortable with me as I feel with them, which is typical because I tend to, to throw myself into relationships with people and, and tell them I love them, um, even though, you know, it's not that I don't, it's that I don't fully understand. So it makes it hard. It really does. And um, I do want people to know I understand. Even if I haven't been through that situation or what's going on with them, I do want them to know that I'm there with them and I want to help them through and love them through it because I know life is rough. And I want to be that person to help people out. All right, let's see what else is here for those of us who are working our way through the OMG. 
All right, what was your past life? Now, I don't know if you believe in past life regression. This here, I don't know. Amy Jackson. I think they just grabbed the name and that's what they went on there. Um, England, 1901, a doctor. Let me do a quick Google. All right, my research has shown that Amy Jan Jackson is not anybody of repute, so I can't do any research on her site. It just makes me angry, but okay. I think they just grabbed the first name and that was it, because I don't think I lived in England at that particular time. All right, what's the next? Something about Madonna. Which 80s song reflects your soul? Okay, get rid of the pat th uh, spring theater classics again. Which song is it? Eye of the Tiger. Which, by the way, defeat is not something you fear. Actually, it is. You're a fighter who is ready to take on whatever challenges life throws your way. It's all or nothing in any way you or anything you do, which is not true, but okay, whatever you want to say. Reminds me of my favorite video out on Facebook or on YouTube. Um because I'm a big Supernatural fan. Um, Jensen Ackles, maybe I'll throw that in here, is just kind of a taste to I'm right about here. Let's keep going now that we've had that little interlude. I love it because it's just weird enough. You know, it's Jensen Ackles. I love him. All right. Who is your 80s celebrity look like? And I look like Jerry Hall. My cup of coffee does at least. Maybe not me, but my cup of coffee looks like Jerry Hall. I, I totally see the similarities. I might have to redo this somewhere down the road with an actual mug shot because, yeah. If you were a dog, what would you look like? It's, yeah, it's me. That's not a human. It's a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, I can see myself like that. That works. That totally works. All right. According to your photo, how old are you? <laughs> According to your photo, how old are you? Uh, let's see how old it. 18. Okay. I'm not. Why would a cup of coffee be 18 years old? It's either really old or really young, depending on how you look at it. Certainly, um, yeah, okay, I'm 18 years old. Wish. All right. What are the seven truths about you? Seven truths about Amy. Ha has no shame. I do have shame. Very, very, sh I, I have, I deal with a lot of shame. I don't like to say things that are, I mean, if I'm goofing off at work, that's one thing, but not, yeah. Likes pretty things. Who doesn't like pretty things? I like flowers. I like jewelry. I like, uh, things that are aesthetically pleasing. But then what I see as pretty is not always what everybody else sees as pretty. So I'm okay with that. Must be protected. Probably. I'm alone in the world with just my kids and I I'm, and my mom. I'm not, not downplaying that. But yeah, I think, I think, and my sister, I do think that I'm the type of person that needs to have somebody kind of to protect me. And I, I'm, I feel like I'm unprotected. 
heart warm or warm hearted. Here we go. I agree with that one. I think I've got an extremely warm heart. Has a loud voice. Yes, unfortunately, I do. Inspires others to do better or to be better. I hope so. I really do hope I do because I, um, I think we all need to be um, representatives for each other and help each other get better and do better. And I hope that that is something I got to shuffle my bum back. Um, I do hope that I, I represent that for you guys and, and to, for the people around me. A good kisser. I am not one to judge that. I do not know. In fact, I'm not really a big fan of kissing. Don't like any of that touchy-feely stuff. Um, certainly do not like people touching my face. Kissing? No. Not fam. Not into that. All right. Next one. Everyone has a life calling. Whoops. What is yours? I'm a sword fighter. Ooh, a kung fu master. Yes. Yes, sensei. No. I don't know. I can't have one. I can see that. I'm no master, but, you know, it works. All right. Which K-pop star do you look like? Lisa? No, she's not Korean. Lisa! Dang! All right. My son... All right. My son got me into Sword Art Online, which is a an anime for the Red Unwashed. It is fantastic. The first seasons or first they, they they cut their their well first cycle um first arc is the theme song is from lisa crossing field absolutely love it um i love her i think she's absolutely adorable look at how sweet she how cute she looks i want to make her as a sim and have her out there doing stuff because i think she's amazing um i want and and for anybody who is into possibly getting me Christmas presents, birthday presents, whatever in the future. If you can find me a CD of Lisa, I would completely be thrilled. Now I realize there are other ways of getting music. I can purchase it online, but I like having that physical CD and I love her music. Um, Sword Art has used her in a number of art, other arcs as either the beginning or the end title screen. So she's had a number of songs on there. I absolutely love her. Um, there are a number of other um, groups or no other uh, singers on there that I like as well. For some reason, they're always using girl singing, opening and closing, which I'm fine with because I think that just feel, make, uh, does the place into the feel a lot better. Crossing Field is one of my favorite songs from the anime, from um, any, basically, right now I'm really into anything that's, that's um, related to sword art. I don't know why. And I love that song. And I love her. So I'm actually kind of happy. When I saw the first picture, I thought, oh, Lisa. And I thought, no, she's not K-pop. Is she? Yeah, she is K-pop. Yay! I'm so glad about that. I didn't mean to be excited. All right. What's the... It's kind of fun to play with um, OMG. I do tend to not go there simply because they do tend to be a little invasive sometimes afterwards. But it's kind of fun just to go through and uh, do this. I'll probably make a couple videos out of this because I done went through quite a bit and I recorded for over an hour so I, I'll probably cut it up and do a couple videos and it'll be fun just to look and see all right guys thanks for stopping in um the other videos when I do them will have their own intros and extra extras intros and extras intros and outros there you go thank you thank you very much I will talk to you guys later let me know what you think about these videos um, in the comment bar below I'd love to hear what's going on what's up with you what type of things are we going to be wanting on this channel and pushing forward love to hear what you guys have to offer we'll talk to you later bye bye thanks for stopping in guys